All right, scholars, in this exercise, we're gonna talk about my good friend Peter Olinto and his new business venture, Sugar Bear Inc. It has three defined benefit plans. And the reason for that is you may have had executives who created their own plan 20 years ago. They were around for a number of years. Then they left, a new executive team came in. They created their own separate pension plan. And there may be one for the rank and file as well. So the company's actuary has provided the company with the following information at December 31st. We are to calculate the over or underfunded amount of the pension plan and how much of it is current versus non-current for Sugar Bear at the end of the year. So we have three pension plans. We have the Becker plan, the Garrity plan, and the Brown plan. So let's start with the Becker plan. The expected payouts in the next year are 700,000. The plan has assets of 900,000, so there's no short-term problem, right? There's no current problem. They can make the payments for next year. The projected benefit obligation is 800,000 in this particular case. So therefore, we have a plan with 900, a liability of 800, we're overfunded. And always treat an overfunded plan as a non-current asset. So that would go into the non-current asset bucket. All right, let's go to the Garrity plan. In the Garrity plan, we also have 700,000 coming due next year. We have the fair value of the assets at 750, so once again, we should be able to meet our obligations within the next year, no current liability. Note though, the fair value of the plan is 750, the projected benefit is 800. We don't have enough money to cover everything in the long term, we're gonna be short. We're gonna be short by 50,000, but it's not short next year, it's short in the long term. So the Garrity plan is going to show a non-current liability of $50,000. And then we have the Brown plan. The Brown plan also has $700,000 coming due next year, and they only have $650,000 in assets to cover it. They're going to be short this year. So they have a current liability of fifty. dollars And then if you'll notice, the six fifty dollars versus the total obligation of eight hundred dollars means in total we're short by $150,000. 50,000 is an immediate problem this year, and the remaining 100,000 is a problem that will crop up over the subsequent years. So 50,000 goes in the current, and 100,000 goes in the non-current plan. That's the way the breakouts would occur in this particular problem.